Okay, guys, here you go. Here's the last part of this thread. Be sister Charlotte. Get out of the transport. I am getting fucking promoted for this shit. All the blowjobs to get this transport are gonna be worth it. My face when I see that apparently fucking Bridget is a living son. Bridget. Basic bitch Bridget. Least it wasn't Olga or I doubt those wings would hold her up. Fuck did Lydia get another purity seal? She's probably getting a promotion. And just when my escape plan seems to be going well suddenly there are even more cultists. Oh great and now there are more astards. They seem pretty fucking angry. I can fucking sympathize. We strike Commander Morgensen. Aboard the battle barge merciless gift. Wargear acquisition is well underway. Unfortunately, with another planet from the future coming crashing down in a short time, my brothers have to abandon the greatest grounds of battle with so much free loot. Literal piles and piles of bolters from the bolter bitches. More plasma guns than any one chapter other than ours could ever want. Harassy hero arms and armor from the chaos forces. At least two titans. Over 100 banner blades. Or custom gubbins. Elder war powered weapons. Whatever we could loot from the tyrannids. Grey knights. Iversus. We even had a unit of stormtroopers ready to come with us. And IT all needs to be cut short emperor damn IT. My communications officer, Sergeant Lordman tells me there is news from the planet. Good news? Nope. It seems some bishop figured out how much gifting was gift based. Put on your cool face dot power armor. Also a blood raven is dragging along a cyclonic torpedo and has gone a wall. Well shit. But there may be a silver lining. Bother Lordman. Order all blood ravens to find that torpedo. He's curious as to why. Because, sergeant, the blood ravens can give gifts as well as receive them. I have one in mind for the approaching world. Be fucking angry. Have been stuck in the warp for fucking years. 510? Hard to fucking tell. Haven't been killing any heretics. Haven't been doing fucking anything. Anger has reached critical levels. Then suddenly we are out and heading right for a planet. Oh fuck yes there are a lot of heretics. There are a lot of Xenos. Fuck it feels good to be back. And by good I mean fucking furious. Be sister Diana, 4 hours in, still looking for fucking Charlotte. Burning faces left and right. Old jewel interrogation. Burn first task then. It's not working that well. Guess that's why we stopped doing it. Come across some pissed off our bikes going all crazy and shit on their bikes. One of them said something about coffee passing by. No idea what the hell that was about though. I see a repressor a bit further by the fallen wraith knight. That's my girls. What the heck that cunt Bridget is a living son. We ain't gonna hear the end of that one. Bet in 10 purges you'll still be hearing her bitch about how Papa Emp's grace touched her and shit. Touch my ass Bridget. I see Charlotte amongst them. As soon as I'm close. Bitch slap that cunt Olga. I don't care if Canonus grounds me again. Be brother dust bunny. Cloud as shit sirens bursting right by my dusty ass here telling me the bish is looking for me. Still easier to ignore than siege. He keeps telling me where to go to avoid the fuckers looking for the warp drive and the torpedo. Still have no idea where siege wants me to eventually go. What I'm supposed to do when I get there or how I get there when the entire planet is after me. I wish I had never listened to Ariman 10k years ago. Be Xenos Inquisitor. Finally on planet. Worse than I remembered. Fuck me there's a living son. Maybe my dick can wait. Better pretend to be pious. Governor's or daughter's new paramour. Some peasant preacher. Knows the names of the ruinous four. I'm getting too old for this heresy. Hollow is calling for a crusade against the Blood Ravens. Good fucking luck, matey. We've tried that before. Blood Raven Thunderhawks picking up their members. Thank the throne. I saw them getting dangerously close to future shit world and thought they were gonna steal an entire planet. Still not convinced they won't try it. Wave down our bites. Emperor their helmets look fucking stupid. Ask the chinny bozo if he's seen sister Lydia. Fucker tried to give her a parking ticket. Only an adeptus could try shit like that with a straight face. He gives directions. I follow. I trip. Buried face deep in blood. Itcher. Heresy and shell casings. What did I trip on? See a hand emerging from the rubble. Rigor mortis finger locked around. A rosette. Fucking Carolus. Be guardsman. At base camp hungry as fuck. Go down to mess tent. The rattling fucker grob trob took my shoelaces last week. Whatever dot vox. Artillery shell blows up mess. Decide to go take a shit. Artillery shell blows up lavatory. Decide fuck it, I'm going back to sleep. Come back to find tent was lit on fire. Oh boy here we go dot an infantry man's personal transcription device. Be blood ravens chapter surf Marcus. Formerly guardsman Marcus of the cold shoulder something or other. 
Go along with Fess's dumb plan to continue forward into a Necron tomb with no support. Go along with his dumb idea to help the team killing party girls. Still go along with his retarded idea to desert with the bloody magpies. It'll be fine. We'll just say the gifts. They won't be able to resist. We'll just ride up on one of their ships. And before you know it, we'll be out of this system. Just easy days of polishing armor and kissing ass. No more horrible cluster fucks. No more sleeping with one eye open. Might even be able to get that tech priest training you always wanted Marcus. Instead of having to jury rig everything with duct tape and scrap like an orc. It'll be easy street. Just trust me. Now we're heading back into this hellhole. As bloody auxiliaries for the bloody magpies. To hunt down one of their bloody traitors who just so happens to be carrying the bloody bomb we were supposed to be getting away from. Oh, and we have to hope against all hope that no one recognizes any of us under these stormtrooper helmets, and realizes that we've falsified orders and deserted. Fucking hell. Fessus Emperor dammit. Decorus is overjoyed at getting another chance to maybe see his bolter bitch waifu again. At least one of us is happy. Be sister Lydia. My face when well that's fucking Bridget. Ha, huh. I still remember that she would never go drinking. She'd also keep going on about the sin of vanity ray scarfs. The chapter name is Ermin Mantle Bitch. Sweet I got a purity seal. Maybe I get Bridget's Celestian job. Nah, then I might not get to drive the repressor. Not sure how that works. Not even sure what I need to be doing any more than that basic Bridget is fucking wrecking everyone. Guess I still have to look ready. Man I would like something to drink. Can we go? Sister Therese is here with the Seraphim. Sister Charlotte is here with the Dominions. Sister Olga is here with the Retributors. And space marines for some reason. Oh and the secretaries and laundry ladies I guess. Tell someone to go and get the armored vehicles together. I mean I guess there are the repenter as well. But sorry girls, none of you are an exorcist or a penitent engine. Think that your ranids ate all our repenter. Well guess we'll fill out their ranks again after Constantia gets done with the debriefing. Haha, <laughs> if Olga was a repenter would they have scrolls big enough? Would she cause the tyrannids to die of heart disease? I really need a drink when I'm starting to consider a way to weaponize fat chicks. Fuck this place. Be planet from the future. Get real fucking close to present planet. How will I get out of this one? Oh wait I already know because I'm from the future. Also I'm a planet and can't even think. Orbit. Be stormtrooper decorous. Well, not really, but they say the clothes make the man. And boy have they made me look snazzy. Besides, serving this long hair is enough training that would make any regular stormtroopers look like green recruits some who couldn't find the safety on their laskin. Okay maybe I am exaggerating a little bit still. Got my boots back on the ground with the squad and a blood raven strike force, looking for their traitor with a bomb. Marcus is grumbling under his breath and our new sergeant Fessus has put on his grumpiest face under his helmet. The only one who looks even slightly happy to be here is Phil. Although I am pretty sure that's just because he wants more chances to try and literally preach heretics to death. I am not even sure if he's an actual guardsman or just part of that bishop's mob who got roped in. Still, great guy though, love having him around. Personally I am ecstatic to be back. I mean, sure this place is awful, and there's a very good chance we could get executed if we're found out. But now at least I have one last chance to find that beautiful sister again and ask her out maybe. You know, it's funny, I don't think either of us ever caught each other's names. Ah uh, well, perhaps we'll recognize each other when we see each other. Also it's odd, this burnt tower under hive rubble ought to be a bitch to track someone through. Yet we keep finding these clues leading us towards our mark. Almost as if someone else were guiding us to him. Spoopy.holovid. Be Blood Raven Sergeant Takenhan of the Fist. Man just showing up to this planet has given us a fuckload imperial weight of gifted relics. Titans. Banner Blades. Serfs. Half an Inquisitorial Retinue. Several sets of Sororitas Power Armor. The Dozer Blade from a Sob Repressor. An entire company of Primaris Ultra Greens. A crate of Darking Ogrim. And a double dozen bloody chain swords. Our mission is not yet done. The world is not yet at peace. Frankly, there's another planet on a collision course. Librarians say it's a future version of... Wait, what planet is this? Better take a look over the battlefield before we bottle this up and lift off to orbit. By the blessed emperor's nipples. A living son. This must truly be a righteous gift for our troubled chapter. Be Slanesh. Look upon the cold shoulder system. And my fucking cult. They weren't ruining anything. They weren't hurting anyone except those one or two thousand people they murder tortured. They were good boys and girls who just wanted to enjoy all of life's sensations. And now they're all gone. 
and all that's left are these shitty flaming rocks of no fun. And it's all that avian asshole's fault. And now, he's gonna execute some retarded plan and one up me. Fuck him. Fuck him and his plans. He may be the master of plots, but my guys know this place like the tops of their main cocks. Tell all of my few remaining cultists to trail this Steenstian Ratio's marine asshole, and to leave as many clues for those anathema worshipping doucher bags to find him. If I can't win, then neither can he. The future version of Commissar. Past me is trying to ask me what the hell is going to happen in the future but by this point the timeline is fucked up due to me never recalling another version of this planet crashing into its past. Self. Only thing I can recall is having an encounter with some stormtroopers from your own regiments trying to flee with the as gifts blood ravens after trying to help the bloody magpies with the now insane bishop trying to kill them for heresy. And surprisingly past me got really fucking livid over this and asked for my assistance to track them down. Agree and now we have dual command over our regiments which I am pretty sure should be causing some sort of warp fuckery. Everybody keeps giving us stares and one of starts with some weird snake symbol stated we remind him of his chapter's leadership. Also now we have a living son which means we can probably expect some sort of demon prince to come along to add this clusterfuck. The Nikki B. Looking for interesting planes. Because borders shit. Find a fuck hoop plane. Makes Dominaria look like a speck of dust. And it even has a parallel world like Kamigawa. Fuck Tetsuo.Sock. I need to study it, but I don't want people bothering me. Remember some random artifact from a few dozen millennia ago? Send a random walker to get it and tell Tezzeret to take it too. Trying to think about a random plane with my 6 gorillion IQ. Remember random walker is from Ravnica. Yeah, take it there. I shouldn't have wasted the Elder Z Titans. Here knocking on my meditation plane. Close all my mental tabs faster than porn. It's Rando Walker. Read through her mind diagonally, because I really don't care. Give her the shit she wants and send her on her way. New Pleen, despite being fuck hook, is also thick AF. No wonder it was so hard to notice. This also means hard to plan a swarp to. Try and find a more thin bit, and succeed, because of course I do. Telepathic phone text Mex and tell him to leave the planar bridge in Among Hat, because Kikaku or something. I am going to take the Eternals with me, just in case. With my 9 trillion IQ I forgot to I could check to see what was going on on that plane. Diphead. See the biggest clusterfuck of a war of all time. Tiny human mages, priestesses shooting flames, lots of big differently colored constructs fighting among themselves, ogres, elves, but naked elves, and slivers, for some reason. All shooting beams at each other. Kikaku. Take some of the weird mechanical ones everyone is holding. Give them to the Eternals and try to snowball it from there. Be me, Bridget. Sin Bridget now I guess. I got killed by Necrons but it seems like I wasn't supposed to stay gone. I get to come back and help everyone. I always wanted to help people and now I can deliver the Emperor's merciful charity. By hurting people. All my friends are here. They're all really glad to see me. My friend Connie hasn't talked to me much. It's alright though. I know she's busy with canonist stuff. I asked her about me being a son. She said the Emperor helps those who need it the most. She's so wise. I keep busy fighting monsters. My face when the canonus falls asleep they say she's been fighting for days. It's okay. I can take care of things from here. That's what sisters are for. Be me. 82nd Orbital Assault Regiment. Emperor Fee. Spent the last 3 years training. Being pushed relentlessly to prepare for our first assignment. Sitting in ships about to transfer in system. Stressed out Navy officer comes in, says he's here to brief us. Gives a brief garbled speech about the upcoming deployment. Something about two planets appearing. Six different kinds of Xenos with a cyclone torpedo getting lost because of a governor's or daughter who started the whole thing by fucking a bishop. What dot hollow pick. He runs out the room again before we can ask him questions. I didn't sign up for this shit. Be scout marine furtivus. Be tracking down the traitor marine dust bunny with the blood ravens strike force plus stormtroopers to kill the traitor marine dust bunny and retrieve the gifted ordinance that he has stolen. It's surprisingly quiet down here. Too quiet. And I don't mean that in the it's a trap way. I mean where the fuck is everybody? If I recall correctly, the child bishop who declared himself in charge of this planet decreed a manhunt against former brother Dust Bunny, and the rest of the Blood Ravens for possibly harboring him. 
And yet, all we've found here are random mutants parties and xeno stragglers from the previous conflict. Not a single bit of overt help hunting the heretic with the world cleansing bomb. The only ones helping are the fucking stormtroopers, and they were gifts anyways. Although, it's not like we need the help, his trail is suspiciously easier to follow, and I am beginning to suspect darker forces at work here. Even the stormtroopers seem to notice this. I pray that we are not walking into a trap. But seriously what are those retards doing up there? Aren't they supposed to be hunting us? The fuck? Actually what am I doing? Why am I asking what they're doing when they themselves probably haven't had a single clue as to what they were doing for the past? Who knows who long? Why is brother Recipius waving his hand in front of me? Fuck how long have I been standing here internally monologuing? Be stinky nuggle boy. Praise the AIDS daddy. Warp storm sent us somewhere off course. In bumfuck nowhere. As captain get message from Zinch follow in system. All according to plan fag. Tries to land. Dark Admech grabs message from shitty ass Admech's security. Learns how all this shit happened. What the fuck dot jpg. Sends prayers to uncle Nurgle as I ready to spread my super metal eating aids that lives in fire. Good shit boy. Be civilian. You and your family found somewhere to hide when everything went to shit. You're running out food and water. Take a peek outside. Stuff is still on fire. Bolt around pass way too close for comfort. Note dot retreat. Be me. Ex governor's ex whore of ex daughter. Ex heretic too. My baby is so cool. He fought until his last breath and he ist totally badass now with scars and bionics and shit. Cry out of happiness when he survives. Comfort him in every single moment of peace. Even if should die on this piece of shit day, we will enter the emperor's realm together or survive and will live happily ever after. I will always be at his side. Faithfulness in relationships. Pastor. My face when there is another planet popping up. My face when babe goes on crusade against the angels of death. My face when when I even see some TAU ground traps fighting orcs in the distance. Try to help my babe. Get all of my beauty products, regiment pills and cosmetic and fashion magazines out of our summer residence as my babe's crusaders literally burn down so much Xenos. Heretics and mutants that the ocean begins to boil. Try to bribe the sororitas with it into joining our little comfy crusade. Be sergeant of scout team in furnace. Tracking down some blood raven that had too much of an appetite for gifts. It's surprisingly going pretty well. There's a nice path to follow. We're actually following another team that's already tracking him. Our camo even works for once. It was meant to blend in with Molten Rock, so it's normally pretty much like wearing a glowing target. But here, everything is on fire, so it really balances out. And there's the team we're tracking on the next high. Wait, those aren't Blood Ravens. Those are Dark Angels. I never noticed how similar our color scheme was. Emperor, they look so pasty in comparison. I think they're just hunting for anything called a traitor. What loyal servants of the Emperor. Thinking energy dot magma. I wonder if there's another scout team following us. Too. I wouldn't be too surprised on this shit of a planet. Or its brother. Speaking of, I wonder how the evacuation is going. I think the sergeant said he was going to liaise with the sisterhood and see if they could get more shuttles. I hope he doesn't bring back the sister with the large rack. The scouts that had sex in the last 40 odd years wouldn't shut up about her. Kids these days. They're almost 60. Act your age and stop trying to rob the cradle. Be Fessus. Walking along these dusty ass caverns with the crew and blood ravens. Been walking with all this heavy ass gear for what seems like forever with no end in sight mostly because there's barely anything in sight. It's dark as shit down here. Want to engage in my favorite hobby complaining. But can't because I don't want to give the magpie boys second thoughts about taking us along. Internal struggle dot in a screech. Keep going along. See random pink goop smeared along a section of the floor. Lloyd, with more bravado than brains can decides to find out what it is or what it means by stepping on IT. Suddenly, shitty ass half destroyed ground breaks beneath Lloyd and he falls through. Good news, he survives with nothing more than a few bruises. The pack absorbed most of the fall. Better news, he found our traitor. Bad news, he found out by landing on top of him, which certainly got his attention. Fire some hotshot and plasma rounds at him to get his attention. Off of the moaning figure of Lloyd Big Baby. Walk it off. Completely with Phil shouting about how he was a traitorous faggot and unworthy of the armor he wore. Seriously does he just spend his free time writing all these speeches for later? Now it actually does more than that, I can actually see the song's marks where I hit him, although Marcus misses his plasma shot when a bolt round almost takes off his head. 
Thankfully he had all but forgotten about Lloyd who, in an act of what was either bravery or stupidity, throws a flashbang right in front of his face. I had no clue how well it would work, but it seemed to work well enough for the magpies to jump down through the hole narrowly missing landing on Lloyd. The traitor books it with the bomb still on his back and the force commander with tactical squad hot on his tail. It is then I start wondering some real important questions. Like how volatile are cyclonic torpedoes? Be salamanders chapter surf Caffrey eel. Worried about my lords, they treat us well and that planet looks fucking bad. Well, if anyone can survive there it's space marine. Assigned to help transfer refugees from cold shoulder aboard our strike curizer from some transport the mains were able to secure on the planet. Fuck babysitting dot box. Herding refugees when amongst them I see her. The single hottest sister of battle I have ever seen. Dem hips. Dem tits. Extra thicc dot stc. Hear from one of the civilians that she's called sister Olga. Says she's been helping them get to safety. My dick is diamonds. Walk up and get ready to bring my flirting game. Spaghetti fleece out of robes PNG. Hey. She berry looks at me and keeps ogling a battle brother. Walks right past me as she follows him. Emperor Damnit. Be future commissar. Me and past version of myself have to juggle fighting off heretics, xenos, and whatever shit this system can throw at us while tracking down the rogue stormtroopers, evacuating civilians. Along with finding that one traitor starts with the means to blow this entire sector into the warp. Fuck dot vox cast. Suddenly the Vox starts activating with a high priority message to all Imperial forces within the sector. The fucking magpies have found the warhead along with the warp device on their ship. Any forces that can be spared must secure that device before it is activated. This starts a chain reaction of the remaining crusader forces under the bishop's command doing a nid rush to the magpies ship where the device is. Followed by every Xenos ship converging on them above the planet. Followed by me and my past self's remaining forces getting on the remaining ships. I swear to the Emperor the amount of ships in orbit surrounding this one battle barge is enough to destroy Segmentum Ultima. The Void battle itself rivals that of Armageddon. Me and my past self get ready to board with our elite stormtrooper companies to prevent this situation from going from shit to Horus heresy levels of shit. Still wonder if anybody else is meeting their past selves and if the planets blowing up will actually mean an end to this war or just means we will find some other random ass planets to fight on. B brother Dustbunny. Fucking stupid idiotic bloody magpies. Still, even being landed on my loyalist marine is easier to ignore than Sinch's petulant whining. Have managed to set up the stolen inquisitorial warp drive as asked, and he even straight up rewarded me with some of my emotions. Was just moving the torpedo when that arsehole landed on me. Still I should be able to get our... Now, that almost hurt. Bastards. Notice the torpedo has been set off. Shit 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 shit. No point in running it and exterminates tear weapon. Throw it anyway. Pray to siege. It falls down some massive fucking hole. Blows up at just the right point in time that it perfectly matches the cave system in such a way as to smack the warp drive into warp overdrive. Just as future planet is about to smack into us it blows out throwing the entire planet into the warp where it quickly falls back into reality. Thus becoming the future planet that stirred this shit up in the first place. Of course all of this was narrated very loudly by Sinch himself. I suspect he even kept the loyalist who interrupted me alive specifically so we could be awed by how. Just. As. Planned. It was. I point out that it was already Korn and Post who did the future planets thing when he sent in Angrath. Apparently every origin story occurred simultaneously because warp quantum. Oh. And good luck with Angrath. B Blood Raven Sergeant Takenhan of the Fist. I'm reasonably certain we can scoop up that living sun with the Thunderhawk if we just angle it right. Truly a righteous gift for the chapter dot relic. Wait. Hold the fucking box. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Is that an ermine patting cloak? Quick brother gift me your assault armor dot chapter. As soon as I retrieve that sacred relic for the chapter we're going to retrieve that living sun. Such a righteous thing should not be allowed to founder on such a blighted world. Be stolen primaris marine. With the news of the evacuation inbound due to some warp fuckery causing two versions of the now death world to crash into each other I would finally be able to escape from these magpies. Though I have to admit getting all these relics was nice, may bring a few back from my original chapter. Suddenly some fucking massive warp rift swallows the original planet leaving the future one to take its orbit. What the fuck Vox? 
It was then that we were ordered back down into the planet due to everyone making a beeline to secure their position. Upon arrival I soon realized that there are now copies of some of our allies our foes meaning that this system is twice the cluster fuck it was. To the magpies it means there is twice as much shit to loot and they have me and my fellow stolen brothers act as distractions to the now increased threats we face just so they can be fucking space. Gypsies. Emperor preserve me. Be stormtrooper decorous. Man alive I love saying that. Makes me sound so badass. Stormtrooper fuck yeah. Anyway be me. Be witness to this giant mess. Have to sit through all this techno bubble crud. It's actually kinda boring and doesn't really make sense, but don't wanna interrupt just in case anyone else was interested. Still though, a troubling thought occurs to me, and I feel the need to interrupt. Excuse me, Mr. Foul Demon Scum, I have a question. Everyone, traitor and loyalists turn and look at me. Dang now I feel nervous. If there are two planets, does that mean there are two bombs now? Be Imperial Historian. 237.95 standard Terran years in future. For the last 59.67 years, since I was 2 years old, I've been categorizing every major event of what became known as the last war from over the cold shoulder. Just like my father and his father before him. PNG. We've recorded over 17,490 volumes on the events leading up, and including the war. My face when we've only scratched one stroke 47th of the entire goddamn war. My face when I realize that the next 19 generations of my line will be writing books about this fucking shit of a war. My face when no one knows who won the fucking war. Royalties are pretty good. JPEG. Be Mechanicus Adept. Get into argument. What's heavier? A kilogram of wood? Or a kilogram of feathers? Entire exploratory contingent gets involved in this heated debate all of a sudden. Sabotage everywhere, ships falling out of the sky, Skateri legions suddenly firing on each other. Fuck. Be canonous. Come into the common area after sleeping in the coziest quarters the sister's commandeered ship has to offer. Picked up the bishop and his bride-to-be. He is a bishop, after all, and we are the Ekelshiarchy. Looking forward to my parade. Looking forward even more to a month of mostly non-sexual full body massages by a team of sororitas. One of the battle sisters addresses me. Canonus, I beg your pardon, but I must ask how did you know the second planet wouldn't be a threat? She probably thought I forgot. These bitches. They all think they can do my job. Half of them can't even spell Canonus. I never forget. My face when I set the bomb to explode 10 months from now. Adeptus Sororitas Order of the Ermine Mantle After Action Personnel Reports Battle of Sturcus Ludicrum Canonus Constanza Constanza The Firehead Electric Eye of the Imperium Further epithets omitted For the stalwart defense and simultaneous beneficial terraforming of an imperial world under exceptional circumstances A parade in her honor to be held on return to the shrine world Tomis Retribute a sister Olga, the she bear of murder pass For exceptional combat performance Promotion to Celestian Superior, assigned to position of liaison to Adeptus Astartes, Dominion Sister Charlotte, for quick thinking and sterling service on the field of battle, promotion to Celestian, 1-1 one -one replacement cloak, Ermin Patchen, Battle Sister Diana, absence without leave during combat, disciplinary action waived by the Canonus, Seraphim Sister Therese, alleged consensual lewd activity with a member of Azena's species. Recommended assignment to a penitent engine waived by the Canonus. Battle Sister Lydia. For admirable fulfillment of assigned duties. Promotion from Armored Vehicle Operator Repressor to Senior Armored Vehicle Operator Repressor. Assigned Dialogus Liaison. For satisfactory fulfillment of assigned duties. Awarded 7-7 seven, seven days leave. Saint Bridget formerly Celestian Sister. The Miracle of Sturcus Ludicrum. First living son from the Order of the Ermine Mantle. Requests for transfer by the Canonus to strengthen an order with greater need denied. Be bumfuckered match. Takes out Cyberdong. Cyberdong's admin team detector goes off. Polish it JPG. Lots of Adam team. Lots. Chapters worth. Is this what everyone's been fighting over? So before anyone says anything, I will be continuing this story on. I'm just not going to be hammering them out as quickly as I have done. There's five threads at the moment at the time of me recording this, so we'll keep it going for as long as I can. Um, to catch them on time, you need to click that wee bell icon. You know what the bell icon does. Just click it and you'll get them the second they come out. Also, check out the Discord. It's not bad. Also, be sure to check out the links for merch. Got some nice looking t-shirt designs you guys will love. This. This is not okay. This needs to stop.
stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this, please?